Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, and welcome back. Welcome to a, another episode of How to Draw Anything and our second featuring a guest for our OC-tober run, which I will give a spiel on after we introduce ourselves. So my name is Lynn. You may recognize my face from the other art programs that we've been streaming online or maybe from the Belmont branch and joined by a couple people today. Hi everybody, my name is Debbie and uh, I also work for San Mateo County Libraries and you would normally find me at the Millbury branch. And our special guest is... Hello everybody, my name is Kenny, uh, also work at San Mateo County Libraries and you will usually find me at the East Palo Alto. Yeah, so if you missed last week, we are doing something a little special this month for October. October is a very popular month for doing art challenges. And while we can't do it every day, we thought we would dedicate um, our weekly episodes this month to doing one of those art challenges, which is OC-tober. OC being shorthand for original character, which is pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. It is a character that you yourself created, maybe for your own story, maybe for a story that someone else made, maybe for a role-playing game, maybe for a video game. Possibilities are endless. They're super fun. And this month, we are getting a bunch of other staff members to guest star on our show, and Debbie and I get to draw their OCs. So today, Debbie is going to be the artist, and Kenny is going to be providing us with one to two OCs, depending on how we count your OC's little friend. So I understand that you already drew a little artwork. So do you want to show that off? And then we can hop into Debbie's version of it. Yeah. So my wife and I, both of us, both not artists whatsoever. <laughs> I wouldn't consider ourselves the greatest of artists, but we do love to draw. We love to doodle. Mm -hmm. uh, so That's what's important. Exactly, right? <laughs> Uh, so we have this game that we'll just like usually like we have like some post-it notes like one of our drawers in our kitchen so we'll like we'll give each other like a note a post-it pad and we're like all right draw a pigeon and then we'll just have to draw like a lot of it like without a reference off the top of our heads like oh, i think this is what a pigeon looks oh. like and it's turned out to be the most ridiculous looking pigeon uh but anyways uh or things like that so the other idea the other day we were like oh halloween like a halloween character like okay cool halloween character and so I started drawing it, and then I came up with this pretty awesome character, uh, definitely influenced by uh, Dwight, if, if there's any Office fans out there. But this is my character. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. Um, and funny enough, so I watched your guys' uh, show, I think it was about maybe two episodes ago, uh, and <laughs> as I was watching it, I realized, like, my character needs a buddy. And so I... From your guys' influence, Drew. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's our mystery ghost friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> our nameless mystery ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? It's a mystery. <laughs> Who's under there? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so cool. No name, but maybe we can figure out a name during this. During maybe this. we'll figure out who's underneath that <laughs> ghost yeah. shape. Depends on how much time we have. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. So I guess I can start sharing my screen. Thank you for coming on with us, Kenny. Yeah, no problem. It's gonna be yeah, glad to have you back. <laughs> yeah. It is a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Okay. Let me, sorry. I'm having a little, okay, there we go. Boom. How to draw anything. Okay. Blank sheet. Okay. So your character had a pumpkin head and I didn't get a good look. Like, do you have, do you have like a character? Like, do you have a story with him yet? Nope. Or her? <laughs> <laughs> you said it was like kind of a Dwight. Yeah, I mean, it was that, that, the, uh, the idea was like, all right, Halloween character. So someone like going trick or treating. So I was like, all right, someone in a Halloween costume. And I was okay. like, what's a good mm -hmm. Halloween costume? <laughs> and then I thought of that episode in The Office. I was like, oh, that's a great Halloween costume. Oh, okay. So I never, I never watched The Office. I'm like, but, yeah, they basically like, he, like carved, the, carved the pumpkin and put it on his head to like scare people. But then, of course, he can't get the pumpkin off of his head. So now oh, it's just boy. stuck on his head for the, <laughs> for the remainder of the day. <laughs> um. That's pretty awesome. But, but totally like, you know, it's one of those like, 
make lemonades out of lemon situations. So you're just like, you know what? I'm okay with this. Not with this <laughs> on my head. It's so just cool. life now. <laughs> the person underneath is definitely happy. You can't necessarily see, <laughs> but they're they're enjoying it. They they've accepted it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So they're happy. Mm. I guess the jack o' lantern head will be happy as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my one thing, I don't know if it's maybe hard to see, but I like the, I, I, I made sure to add in the eyeballs in there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got That's it. good detail. Maybe you could, yeah. Or maybe I didn't, I didn't do like a smile or a mouth underneath it. But you, I, can, I can add one in there, right? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So a question may be worth asking. Obviously, we can do interpretations however we want, especially because this is a Halloween character. Do we want it to just be a kid who is dressing up, or do we want it to be something that wants you to think it's a kid dressing Ooh. up? Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> um, hmm. I like, I like the second option, personally. Okay. What was the second option? Sorry, I was drawing. So it's, it's <laughs> a creature of some kind that wants you to think oh. it's a kid that is dressing up. Oh boy. I like, that, I like the idea of, of like, of like the creature hanging out with like a bunch of kids and, and just on Halloween, you know, it's one of those mm -hmm. things where like, oh yeah, then there's like, he's like the new kid in town, mm -hmm. maybe. Or, it's you like know, he's, he's, he's the new kid in town. It's like, yeah, come to yeah. with us. <laughs> Okay, I'll have to think about that then. Because, <laughs> you know, you could have like fur hanging out or something, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now it makes me think that the pumpkin head is just the head. <laughs> it's too much of it, yeah. So that's why there's no mouth. That is just the mouth. They forgot that detail. <laughs> like and then for the body, it's just like, is it just like regular clothes? I think that's how you drew it originally. I, yeah, I drew regular clothes. Mm -hmm. I think my, uh, my reference for any like body drawing is just like, what does Bob's burger look like? That's <laughs> 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 like, how do I draw a cartoon body? Like, ah, uh, let me just look up Bob's real quick. Like, Good standard. <laughs> it's a very just simple, like, yeah, I can do, I can do this. <laughs> I can hang with this. <laughs> we, could, we could do a different, like, uh, posture or something mm. if you want. Um, he could be dancing, or he could be like, he could be doing that, you know. <laughs> have like a, maybe you could have like a, um, like a trick or treat. Okay. Oh, that'd be cute. You know, a bucket with a jack o' lantern. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's gotta be a jack o' lantern. <laughs> Perfect. It has to be. Yeah, maybe that's why it's going out amongst the kids. It's got a sweet tooth. Halloween's the best night of the year, normally. <laughs> And it's probably also gets a lot of joy out of post Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's the one night that it can go out in uh, in, mm -hmm. in in not in disguise. You know, it's like yeah, this this just works out for me today. <laughs> <laughs> Every other day requires an awkward amount of explanation. But yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's see. And then, what kind of clothes do you think this character wears? Because, like, when you said the office, I was just thinking, was he wearing like a suit and tie or something? I like the I like the thought of it being young. So just like, uh, yeah. Okay, younger. So I'm gonna make this person a little shorter. Ooh. Short. <laughs> um, trick there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Digital, Digital large, large tricks. We always sing that. <laughs> if we ever had a theme song, it would be that. <laughs> um, what's that? At this point, you guys should have a theme song. Yeah. I'm, I'm We've earned all, it. I'm all for a theme song for you guys' program. 
Annie, you are a musical person, uh -oh. so <laughs> <laughs> you can make us a little jingle. Uh, a commission for a commission. <laughs> oh, I got you. Yeah, all right. <laughs> How about shorts? Yeah. I kind of like, I think I saw like tube socks on, on one of your characters. Oh, yeah. My, other, my girl's character definitely had some tube socks. Yeah. I always <laughs> like drawing tube socks, so I'm a sucker for that, so. I will totally do that. So did you already give this character a name, Kenny, or is that something we're gonna... Okay. <laughs> no, name, no name as of yet. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, I'm still wondering what kind of top... What's the top half look like? Uh... Be just like a simple, just like a like a t-shirt, like a little pocket tee. A pocket tee, okay. Simple. I was gonna say I'm tempted to just say something like a little sweatshirt because it's probably cold. <laughs> oh, how about a pocket tee with a long sleeve shirt underneath? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a compromise. <laughs> okay. And it's got a belly. No. A kid. Um, this is already looking adorable. <laughs> and let's see. I'm trying to think what his other arm is doing. Is it doing anything or is it? Maybe it has a second trick or treat bag. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this kid is here to go to town. Yeah. I mean, this is the one day of the year that. Got a stockpile, man. Yeah, exactly. It's gotta, yeah, it's got to last them 364 days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what kind of, does he have another jack-o'-lantern or something else? Hmm. Um, I remember, I remember having a pillowcase when I used Ooh, to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we normally use at my house, I don't remember if I used it myself, but we have like a little black cauldron. Oh, yeah. Our like goodies and treats in. <laughs> I remember, I remember I, I used to have the sack, my, my pillowcase, and then I'd get so tired and I'd be like, Mom, can you hold it for me? <laughs> Such a wuss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe it can say like candy bag on it. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to someone the other day about like what what was the candy for you that like let's say a week after Halloween your bag was just all full of that candy because that was like your least favorite candy. Almond Joy <laughs> <laughs> oh. or Mounds, any of those coconut ones. Oh. Almond Joy, you. you, you really got to be a, a big fan or not a fan at all. There's no middle ground in Almond Joy. <laughs> that was the one I traded with others. <laughs> <My favorite. laughs> what was, about you? I uh, Three Musketeers. I oh. would trade you. I'll trade I you. I would, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lynn? I don't really remember, but it's in part because, like, the system my parents and I had was as soon as I got home, we would go through the candy immediately and set aside anything that I just knew I wasn't going to eat because my dentist would take candy donations oh. and you would get, like, little prizes for donating to them. Awesome. So I kept only things I was going to eat and immediately got rid of everything else. <laughs> so nothing lingered. It was all down to like, here's all the chocolates. Everything else can go. <laughs> that's, that's a smart way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, I think my parents appreciated it too, because so it then, taught me to keep less candy. <laughs> well, what were the, what were the candies that were a must keep for you? Anything chocolate. Anything. I, Still have a massive sweet tooth for chocolate. I like milk duds. Ooh, that's such a good. 
Butterfingers? Butterfinger fans? Twix. Ooh, Ooh Twix are good. <laughs> I think I think I like Hershey mm -hmm. bars. Oh yeah. Like in part because they were so easy to like break into little pieces so it, you could like trick yourself into it lasting longer. <laughs> <laughs> I like Twix because there were two of them in there. <laughs> like Starburst. I feel like I, I, whenever I got like, or Skittles. Yeah. Oh yeah. Skittles were a good one. Yeah. Che those chewy, were good. Chewy sweet tarts. Uh, also, I like those. Mm. And Dum Dums. Mm. Man, I really want candy now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is backfiring. <laughs> yeah, I feel like my thing with Starburst and Skittles was there were some flavors that I really liked and others that I was very net on. And so it was much more of like a random chance of when I opened a package and being like, yeah, or, oh. <laughs> very true. I can, I can relate to that, absolutely. <laughs> The chocolate was a consistent staple. There was no wrong way of doing it. <laughs> it wasn't like a green Skittle. <laughs> right. <laughs> awesome. I love how this is coming along. <laughs> um, any other details while, uh, while mm -hmm. I'm inking this? Dum dums. That's a dum dum. I feel like uh, I feel like if, if we're we're imagining the the mouth it being the actual mouth of the thing, right? So like, mm -hmm. like does it need like like a tongue or something in there? Yeah, yeah. I left it kind of blank right now because I'm like I'm not sure yet. Those mm -hmm. eyes are pretty creepy. I know. <laughs> I love the eyes. I do too. They're super creepy to me. <laughs> I, know, I love how like both cute and creepy it is right now. Absolutely. It's like if you saw it coming up to the door, you'd be like, oh hey! <laughs> Good for you, sweetie. <laughs> I kind of want the little bit of the legs we can see to be like ever so slightly furry. Yeah. Okay. Just to indicate that. Mm -hmm. Just just a little hint. Just a little extra nudge of. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think of like how to. You're not gonna turn the kid away, yeah. but you kind of have to wonder exactly what you saw as soon as he left. <laughs> Is it a really good costume or? Yeah. <laughs> like kind of werewolfy, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Because it can't be like just hair, because then it just be. Like... Yeah, no, I'm thinking more specifically like fur fuzzy, just because I think that would look better than. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do think this kid makes a good companion too, the little mystery ghost. <laughs> that means it should have like furry hands a little bit, shouldn't it? I feel like this character would have made like an amazing like like children's movie in the nineties, you know? Oh yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like like it would be like real life, like there'd be like this mm -hmm. Character, you know, walking around amongst like all the kids and on Halloween night, and just like, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> we only have to see him once a year, but it's a good time. <laughs> yeah, he knows all the best houses. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that kid who wears the same costume all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, what happens to that kid? Go to school. Like, <laughs> it's a really good costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Guess I'm going to do these creepy eyes now. We've probably got about 10 minutes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm so like reluctant right now. These eyes are crazy. <laughs> 
<laughs> it means they're effective. I guess. It's pure joy in those eyes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like, I now I'm remembering you had the, you had the spiky teeth. I kind of want to try that. Better to eat candy with. Yes. <laughs> you can have his tongue in there too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See how that looks. Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take away my pencil so we can, we can see what's going on. How what, is that? What, what app are you using, Debbie? I am using Procreate. Yeah, on the iPad. Is it the same one that you use, Lynn, as well? Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, it was um, built, like anyone can basically use it, but it was specifically built by Apple to be compatible with their specific iPad and also their uh, tablet pen, which I don't know where mine is currently, but that's fine. <laughs> so it's kind of the most convenient. Yeah, for. yeah. And it is a good app. It's got a lot of fun things. Yeah, it's, yeah, really, really good. Mm -hmm. Uh is a standard orange pumpkin? Yeah, I think so. How about this one? Like there's enough other weird details that <laughs> <laughs> you don't want people looking too hard. Very true, very true. That's true. <laughs> uh, you gotta tell me what the fur color is. Ooh. Digital art tricks. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I feel like my default instinct would just be brown, like kind yeah. of similar vein, like just subtle enough that you're not going to be like, why do you have blue fur, child? But <laughs> brown. Yeah. Yeah. Think... yeah. That's that's actually that's a good call. Let's see. Uh... Like it's plausibly skin. Maybe it's not like an unnatural hair color. At least. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look really closely to see that mm -hmm. fuzziness. <laughs> what color shirt? Mm. Mm. Maybe green to go with the stem. Let's try that. It's very Halloween-y. <laughs> it's in the theme. Yes. I'm a messy colorer, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> At least you get to color. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> You don't usually get that far, huh? No. How about a yellow? How about a yellow shirt underneath? Mm. The long sleeve come uh, came in handy now with our whole mm. like like dad's trying to cover up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the tube socks. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Any ideas on the shorts? What do you think? Mm. about some like khaki colored. Okay. Khaki. Oh, that's khaki. Is that khaki? Like that? Yeah, that's pretty khaki. <laughs> All right. I forgot to do this pumpkin. I'm getting excited for Halloween now. <laughs> Just thinking about it. 
Oops. It's a good holiday. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those where on my own I don't do much for it, but I really enjoy other people enjoying it. Oh yeah. Because like I'm terrible at things that like horror and spooky things and whatnot, but there's something just fun seeing how enthusiastic other people get about <laughs> whoops the season. Sorry. <laughs> I'm doing a pillowcase color. Mm -hmm. Also the candy is very good. Big <laughs> glass. <laughs> I kind of want him to have red shoes, if I can throw that out there. Yes! I love red shoes. I'm also a sucker for red shoes. <laughs> red shoes and tube socks. <laughs> <laughs> Good combination. <laughs> How about that? Nice. All right. I'm going to clean up a little because it's bothering me. <laughs> okay. Right. Hey, anything yeah. else? Yes. Uh, we've got about five minutes to oh, come boy. up with the name. Okay. Let's do a name, Kenny. This is your this is your character. So as you're as you're drawing in layers, like what do what what are you, what do you usually do? You have I know you had your pencil. Mm -hmm. and then then you had like your Oops. outline. Just the pencils. Then I worked on the outlines on top. And then after that, I took away the pencils oops, and I added color in underneath the inks. <laughs> That's what it looks like without the lines. <laughs> it <laughs> which, kind of changes the vibe of the drawing. <laughs> which I actually really like. It's actually really <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. I actually like it a lot. <laughs> it completely changes the expression. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, cool, cool. Your <laughs> color layer underneath your... Yeah, I mean, you know, you can't do that. Uh, well, you could do that if you're using paper. You know, you just have to have some good markers that... And also maybe a pen that doesn't um, bleed too much. Um, you know, just using like a very permanent marker that doesn't bleed or paint. Uh, then you can just paint, you know, color over it. Or you could always like photocopy and then color over. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, normally on paper, I would color first and then I would ink on top. Mm. So I did a little bit differently for, for mm. digital art. Mm. Well, shall we figure out a name for your character, Kenny? Sure. Hmm. I feel like the aggressively obvious is Jack. Ooh. <laughs> Dwight as well. <laughs> um, I like, how, how about Jackie? Ooh. <laughs> That's cute. Or is it with a Y? It could be either. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many ways of spelling it. <laughs> I'll go with Jackie. I'm like Mac. Mac. I'm trying. I like. I like rhyming too. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like candy or sweet puns, but all I'm coming up with are like obvious pet nicknames, like ah, sweetums. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which would be cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think, Kenny? It's your character. You get the final call. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I'm like I could, I'm, I'm down with Jackie. Yay! All Thank right, you. Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Ooh, it's fun to draw. He, Jackie's pretty creepy. Let's just look at him like this. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want that to be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs>
we could do that. We, can have we could. We have the power. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Jenny. Yay. That was fun to draw. Thank you both for having me again. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, we hope to see yeah i want to i want to see if you um develop further develop your drawing mm -hmm. too of your of your ghost mm -hmm. friend too mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and if anybody out there has uh been drawing or participating in oc tober drawing your original characters we'd love to see them you can always share them on social media at snc libraries you can tag your drawings with us um, you can also use the hashtag SMCLCreates. Um, we just love to see what you're doing for OC Tober if you are participating. Mm -hmm. And then you can always visit us on SMCL.org for all the other programs that we have and all the, gosh, we have so many resources. We have voter resources on there. We have, what are some of the new things that I'm forgetting to mention? Mm -hmm. We have we have printing now. You can always you can, yes. In addition to our curbside uh, services to pick up the books and CDs and DVDs, you can also send prints. Yes, for free. For yes, free. all free. So check out smcl.org for all those details. You could make us print pictures of your OC. <laughs> for sure. In color. In, yes. yes. <laughs> Right. Thank all right. you all for joining us. Thank you, Kenny, for being our special guest and showing us your awesome new character. Oh, thank you again for having me. <laughs> and thanks, everybody, for, uh, for joining us today. Um, join us next week for another episode of, of How to Draw Anything, OC Tober edition. Um, but for now, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you all. Bye. <laughs>